Good morning. It's vlog time again. It's been a while, but I'm off on a little adventure with a good friend of mine and I'm late, so I'm gonna rush this and we'll pick it up when I get there. Yeah, bye. Alrighty. I arrived on time. Perfect timing, smooth sailing, no traffic whatsoever. And, uh, well, we're, um, on the top of a hill in, where are we? Clun. Clun. <laughs> Clun. The lovely name Clun. And uh, the reason we come here is for that up there. Uh, so, yeah, let's try and take some pictures. I think we need to go down that way, don't we? Let's go that way. It's pretty windy up here and it's pretty cold. It is like four degrees today. It's pretty cold, it's not as cold as it has been the last couple of days. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice use. I'm gonna uh, take some photos now and um, you'll see what they came out like. So we left the last place, which was, what was it called? Clun. Clun, yeah. Wherever we, wherever we were in Clun. Clun Castle, that was it. And we have come to Wales. Yep, short stone's throw to Wales. What was it, half an hour, 40 minutes? Driving through the hills and the valleys. And I've realized I'm not, there we are. Now we're fully zoomed out. So we're driving through the hills and the valleys. And we are now at um, Water Break It's Neck. Right? Yeah. yeah. Water break its neck. We're now at water break its neck, um, which is, I'll insert a Google Maps screenshot, pin, link in the description. Um, but it's very pretty. It's very cold as well, hence the, the hood, the hat, the gloves, everything. It is phenomenal. I'm a big fan of this place that he has brought me to. This is all Jake's idea. All credit for this goes to Jake. I am not in any way responsible for this. Other than getting us here, I drove. Jake found us the location. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna uh, just I'm just gonna crack out the black magic. I'm gonna crack out 70 to 200. We're gonna take some sweet photos. We're gonna take some crispy ass B-roll, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we'll, we'll see what comes of it. We'll see what comes of it. A bit loud here. Whoa. Whoa. It's a waterfall. How good is that? I'm sure I've like done some kind of B-roll sequence or something, so editing George, you can cut this bit out. Tip number one. It, precisely, Jake. Tip number one for somewhere like this. Waterproof shoes. Waterproof shoes. It means I can walk through this 
without getting wet feet like that mug. Over there. Uh, I'm also going to try and get up here because there's a really cool photo I want to try. Yeah, I'm up and this looks sick. Like the colours here are just phenomenal. It rained for about five minutes. It was just spitting. It was nothing mad. So we just took shelter and we came back. And like everything now is just like glowing and rich and full of vibrance and it's wonderful. But I'm going to take this photo now. I'll insert it right here, what it looks like. There you go, you've seen it now. I hope it looks good because in my head this is going to look sick. Um, but I don't know, here's another selection of photos from today whilst I navigate myself to the next destination. So um, this is the uh, 10 to 20 mil Sigma lens and I am that far in front of my face, which is great. So that looks pretty damn cool. Here you can see the, uh, the old waterfall in its full glory, which is great. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to take some of that distortion away from my face. Cool. And this is, um, this is where we are, uh, up here on the side of the waterfall. Which is great. I mean, like, if I pushed Jake right now, he would die. Also, notice the horrendous windowing that's going on. Look at the windowing on the left and right. Yeah, yeah no, I think I think it'd be fine if I was using 4K. Hold on, let me switch to 4K. There we go. That's 4K now. So, I mean, it's now auto focusing like a mofo. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on to manual focus. It's pretty cool. Jake's doing some macro photography on my 24 to 70 because of that killer macro setting on it which just looks amazing i'm just a big fan of it and jake i think we're about to get wet again the sun's just like gone completely um so i'm gonna get down from here real quick um yeah i'm yeah. just gonna just for perspective oh thanks for putting it on manual focus jake just for perspective this is the uh this is 24 mil at 4k look this is roughly the same distance I was holding the 10. That's crazy. So let's swap back to 1080. There we go, much better. Now we're back at 1080. 24, which is pretty good. Jake's just gonna go and grab some shots. This has been really productive. Really productive day in terms of pushing my knowledge. I'm not walking away from the waterfall a bit because it's a bit loud. In fact, hold on. So yeah, it's been a pretty, productive day in terms of pushing my knowledge of things in general on how to take photos out here. I've tried out the 10 mil, something I've wanted to try out for a while. I wanted to get the EFS 10 to 18 mil and I might see if I can pick one of those up now because yeah, 10 to 18 mil on this camera, 4K with a speed booster, whew, that's absolutely insane. If you're watching this and you want to come to this place, this place is called Water Break Its Net, waterfall in Wales. Um, it's Stunning, like the car park's literally three, five minute walk that way. Can't fault it at all. So if you want, if you're local or not local, I would thoroughly recommend either booking an Airbnb and coming down. Oh, my hat is so wet. Booking an Airbnb and coming down. Yeah, like definitely just make the trip, make the effort. Anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna carry on with the tour.